What's up, everybody? This is Chris from Suicide Silence, and you're watching Soundlink TV. Trent here from Soundlink TV with Chris from Suicide Silence, right here in Greenville, South Carolina. How you doing? Doing good, man. What's up? Awesome. We were talking about your hair color earlier. Uh, yeah. You got you got some rocking some purple here. Uh, yeah. What made you go with the purple and all that? Uh, it just it felt right. I was uh, purple is is my current mood. So there we go. Your current mood. What other moods do you have? Oh shit, they're all the the, I have the, the full list: love, hate, sadness, angry, happy, all of it. Are you big into the whole zodiac thing with that stuff? With like a, how it affects you and all that, or is that, or are you just like just whatever? That's, that's just that's just where I was. Okay, <laughs> awesome. So we're here in Greenville for on, at Rage Fest with Attila and a bunch of other bands. They are the main event. Volumes is on right now. Rings of Saturn, Spy, Cross Your Fingers, and uh, so it's a it's a great package, very diverse and everything. And so uh, you know, it's like being back on the road, you know, touring with all these bands and everything. Uh, it's cool. Uh, treat it like every other other tour. So just another cool tour, other uh, tour to rip. So cool. Okay. Yeah, you guys, you know, are obviously a very heavy band and stuff. And like I said, this is a very diverse lineup. So you got diverse kids coming out. So, uh, you know, as long as you guys have been around, you know, I'm sure there's some kids who still haven't seen you guys, heard of you guys and stuff. So, like, what, what's that like connecting with the, the younger fans coming in? You know, like, oh, you know, I've heard of you guys, but never really listened. You know, this is dope. You know, what, yeah. what, what's been the connection with all the new kids like? Yeah, those are my, uh, my favorite tours to do, you know. So we just come out here and keep doing our, our thing. It's, it's, it's nice to... Uh, Cause you gotta actually see it sometimes, but especially on like on like a tour like this, you know, or and after our last record, you know, people are kind of had this preconceived uh, thing about us, so which is great, cause they'd be like, oh, this band probably sucks, cause of what I've heard online, and then and then they see it, it's like, oh shit, yeah. and then you go out and meet people, it's it's fucking cool, man. I, I'm super grateful to be here. Yeah, that, that that's interesting. It's like you know, you're not y'all aren't the only band to try something different, something new, and everything. And fans, you know, a lot of fans may not care for it or not expect it. You know, it's happened a lot this year in the past years. And so, where were you at with that? Like bands trying, trying new things away from like, do you, obviously you guys did it, but as a whole thing, like, it, do you think it's good to like completely like switch it up a, a ton to, to like drop something people don't expect, or are you more of a fan of continuing doing what people are familiar with with adding in new elements? It all depends on on the band and the timing, really. And for and for a band like us, that was right. You know, people may not know it now, but uh, I think in a, in a year from now, it's gonna pretty be pretty clear. Because in order to make what uh, people don't realize, we're, we're, we we love music and we love our fans, we, and we, we want to give them something fresh. You know, and uh, to do that, you gotta take chances and risk and uh, and sacrifices, and uh, to get a certain sound. Sometimes it takes you uh, a couple records <laughs> yeah. to to get to get that sound. So uh, there's a sound that we wanted, and there's steps you have to do to, to get there. The last record, what was that step? And we were willing to uh, experiment all the way, take all the risk, and fail in order to get to that th that record that we're trying to do. So again, it's only gonna, the only way for people to accept it is time, and you can't force time. You can't pass time. So it's going to take a few years. Uh, I, I believe for people to actually get it. Okay. So. Yeah, uh, we actually had. Um, I don't know if you were this, but we uh, actually had Eddie on our podcast a year ago after all this happened. So yeah, yeah. So that was a good interview. He talked. He was very open about everything, the yeah. whole process and stuff. And uh, so that was that was so fresh and, and you know in the minds of you guys. You know, seeing, getting all the numbers. You know, all the you know fans talking. You know, junk online or whatever. And so like a, a year after that, you know, possibly writing more stuff. You know, trying to get to that record. Where are you guys at? Where are you guys at now with that? And what are you guys currently working on to build off of what you guys made? Uh, we have a record done already. <laughs> Uh, we we uh, started writing in January and we were we've been locked in like a little room for a while so it's been jamming uh, you know I don't know it's hard, it's hard to explain to people how the the experience of writing a song is because you know because I don't even know how it is because I'm, songwriting is a fucking mystery it's a mystery and it's, it's impossible to explain but it's crazy having this idea that like like I was saying earlier it, it takes multiple records to do the record that you want. Yeah. But to actually live it and like experiment, and now, now it comes out naturally, okay. and it, it's, it, it was a trip to like jam new stuff now, and it come out naturally now, and that's that was, that was only possible from doing what we did on on the last record, and and it, it's just made it's making sense already, 
you know, that were so we got a record done pretty much in, 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 in the in the demo stages. So that's cool. I'm stoked on it, man. Nice. So you said it's in the demo stages, so obviously yeah. it's not coming out this year, so there's probably not a lot you can talk about it and stuff. No. But uh, um, the stuff surrounding it and everything, you know, the, I guess the vibe or style, because, you know, people hear that, they're going to know, you know, what, what kind of things can they expect to hear, you know. Yeah. So is it a blend of the old with the new, is there, or is it the new with some new, or, or what, what kind of uh, suicide silence are we going to get this uh, on this new one so far? Uh, it's hard to explain, but from what we learned from the last one is now – we're focused, and the and the sound is there, and the identity is there. So uh, no matter what it, it is, because everyone's, because I could say something, but everyone's perception is different. Every person has a, a different, you know, way, way of hearing something and seeing something. So for me to say how what it sounds like is pointless, but I can say that now we're focused, and we what because of what we learned, and uh, it sounds our identity is there now so and but and at the same time we're, we're doing what uh, we, we've always done which is be ourselves which is what metal bands are afraid of doing that's why they all fucking suck <laughs> all right so uh you get you guys have been around a while you know as we talked to you about earlier you guys have some records under your belt and stuff and you know everything's constantly changing you know especially with the digital age and all that and so like even even within the last record you guys released you know things have changed it's, it's even more become more singles based and all that so yeah. Uh, as a band going forward, adapting to that environment with streaming and all that, how are you guys looking to, I guess, push the newer stuff? Print CDs, no CDs, vinyl only, or like, how, how are you guys trying to adapt to like the new, like, I guess, less physical music world or whatever? I believe uh, to stay relevant, you stay relevant uh, with what you're doing at the best that you can, because no one does it. No one, no one tries to be their best, and no one tries to uh, outdo them themselves because because you're so focused on the outside which is the worst because everyone does that because they're all fucking afraid to go in here that's why again metal fucking sucks <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah we're, we're doing uh we're doing the fucking same shit uh and i truly i truly believe in my heart that the album and the record is not dead yet it's only dead it only records don't sell because metal sucks therefore people aren't gonna buy a shit product and I, I truly believe that the record's not done, you know? I mean, not getting out of the, like, like the metal scene for a second, like Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar came out with a record and his shit's fucking selling oh, yeah. because his shit's badass. Yeah. His shit's heavy as fuck and it slams. And it's, like, it's like a real art piece and it's a real record. And, uh, and that's very recent, you know? If he, if he could still do it, I mean, it, it, it could be done in rock, metal, pop, whatever. It just, it just has to be really good. Yeah, the thing, that, the thing that really sucks about metal is if you do sell a lot of copies, people call you a sellout because you're making money and actually l making oh, a living off that. It's all right. I mean, it's funny. Like, there's, it's, it's this weird thing where the more popular that you get, the more unpopular that, that, that yeah. you get. So basically what you want is you want more people talking bad about you because if that's the case, then it's because more people know about you. So it's like, it's like the, this weird illusion online. And uh, if you just have, you know, a steady head on, on, on your shoulders and you get validation only from yourself, then that shit doesn't fucking matter. Because, I mean, because th th this is real. I mean, people come out to the shows, you, you talk to people, you see them, you look, you look them in the eye, you see them having a good time, they, and, and they still buy CDs and buy, and buy your merch, come out to the shows. That's real. Yeah. So it's just this illusion online where you'll, if you read something online and, and believe it, like, I don't know, it's just... I mean, then you wouldn't have any touch of what's real or not, yeah. you know, because I'll read one thing online, then I'll go play in front of 20,000 people at like, at like a show. It's like yeah. there, you can't, what, what's real? <laughs> this, this is real, you yeah. know, not, not, what, not like fucking this, you know. Yeah, and then because of that, you might say <laughs> something, somebody yeah. pulls one line out of it, throws the headline, and then next thing you know, people uh, are thinking you real. said something without even reading something, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean. I I could say like I could say the nicest thing in the world, and there will be someone that will find something bad with with that. Yeah. So that's why you gotta speak your mind at least, because at least you're 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 speaking from from the heart. Yeah. You know, regardless of what people say about you or think about you, because if I'm afraid to say what I want to say now, then that's gonna translate to my music. Yeah. Which I think bands do interviews like like this and are afraid to actually speak from their their heart. And uh, say that, you know, bands around the fucking suck. 
<laughs> because and that well the reason why that sucks is because that translates subconsciously and in a deep level in their music yeah. and I hear that all the time I listen to a new record in every band in our fucking scene and I, I hear that I hear it and I don't feel it yeah. and it's because a little if when it's little things look like this you gotta fucking be you yeah. and that's that's it okay. and, I, and I think people I think fans of Suicide Sans are very unique fans and special fans because they are their own person you know, and that's why, you know, any person has who has bought a Suicide Silence record, I have something in common with every single one of them. Yeah. You know, because they're, they're, they're not afraid to be them, you know? So, fuck everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So, uh, you said you can't talk about the new album or anything because you guys are still demoing it out and stuff. And obviously, it is, at this time, it is August. And so, end of 2018 is wrapping up. So, what can you talk about you guys have coming up? Because I assume after this, you guys might may, like, get back to the music stuff or whatever without touring. So, like early 2019 you know even later this year what are some things you guys can talk about that you can promote or talk or uh discuss uh it's hard because if people people only knew like at least, at least for us because we spend a lot of time on on doing like like a record it takes so if you say you're, you're gonna write a record and track it and then it's mixing and then you gotta wait for the label to press it that takes fucking months and it's take it's a over a year process yeah. so we started last january it probably won't come out till literally next year. Yeah, like March, spring. Like, is it, probably. It's not the time frame. Probably yeah, June. Year, I yeah. mean, it's it's it takes a while to. Uh, it takes a long time. So just me saying that we have a stuff demoed, it's just we got to work every day yeah. from from when we get home in September to next year for that shit to come out in as soon as possible. Yeah. So that's, I mean, we're, we're, we're working on, on, on the record. There's no set date yet, but we're working literally every day. Okay. Working, having fun, drinking some beers, <laughs> hanging out with some chicks, you know, and, uh, it's, you know, just, just doing this, uh, living, you know, yeah. living and doing, our, doing what, what we do best, so. Well, thanks for your time today, Chris, yeah. and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys later. Uh, yeah. looking, for, looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with, all the honesty and stuff you guys put out there on the new record. Yeah. And uh, I'm Trent with Soundlink TV. Thanks for watching, everybody. Later. Yeah, cause I've met to know